What's good, YouTube? You're turning, you're tuning in to another video with your boy, Curly Head Jr., bro. I think I'm gonna try to enter a couple more videos, but today, bro, we have another reaction video. So today we're reacting to Tory Lanez explaining the shooting of Megan Thee Stallion. So I haven't really spoken on or done uh, this reaction because I felt like there wasn't enough information and stuff to make a reaction video to this. But today we're gonna get straight into it. He's basically went on live Instagram uh, explaining what happened and the uh, scenes that led up to that. But today we're gonna be reacting to it. Um, make sure you like this video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Follow all social medias that's on the screen in the description down below. So go run it up. And make sure you share this video with whoever, bro. I don't care who it is. And just to let you know, this will be a part one and part two video, but because this Instagram live is pretty long and I figured why not make it into a part two and part, or part one and part two. So I'm not gonna hold y'all any longer. Without further ado, bruh, let's get into the video. Oh, Alright. So <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Big words, Baku. The whole time it's like she knows what happened, I know what happened, and we know that what you're saying and what the alleged things and the alleged accusations of my name is are not true. It's falsified information, it's false information, and it's not accurate information. I don't ever want to come off like I'm here to bash this girl or I'm here to talk down about this girl or ever be at a place where like I'm disrespecting her because to me as a person, she's still my friend. No matter what, even if she doesn't look at me like that, I look at her still my friend and in the times that we were together or around each other we've had nothing but joyous moments and good moments so I, i'm not going to sit here and bash her but at the same time it's, it comes to a certain standpoint of me as a person where it's like yo y'all want me to just sit here and just allow my name to be assassinated my character to be assassinated everything that i worked for to get here to just be assassinated for something that i did not do something that the events that are being said are, are not even accurate and accurately being portrayed to everybody, the narrative that's being created or being created. And the reason I didn't react to this earlier like is because we didn't really have all the is, facts. Is now what and I have lived through for three months straight. He hasn't really been on live to explain it. So I haven't really reacted to the video because there hasn't been a lot of evidence. And he talks about that in the video though. Of just people just coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. And yeah, there's a certain point, bro. You can handle people talking about you, people making fun of you, doing all people these people memes, but at a certain point, bro, you have to say it's enough and respond, bro. Everybody feels sorry for me. Like, nah. Because at the end of the day, if I did what they're saying I did, then by all means, I would say the same exact thing about me. I say that nigga's a bitch ass nigga. He doesn't respect females. He's a fuck boy. And that nigga deserves no respect. All of a sudden, like, yo, he. He's this guy who uh, uh, doesn't protect black women, and he's this guy who, but it's like, he's this guy who doesn't care about black women. That's what the narrative is now switching to, and certain things like that. And it's like, hold on. So first it's going I mean, from really shooting her in the foot up. to, when have I not first going to shooting black women. girls in the foot to, he doesn't respect videos, black women. The lead girl is black. Facts. From say it to love to, to now. Like, when, when have I not showed love to black women? I made, I made five chicks tapes about about black love, about a black relationship, about a ghetto relationship at that. Like, you feel me? Like, when did I become this person? Like, my favorite song on the last chick's tape that I put out was Beauty in the Bend. And that was a record that <laughs> was Beauty Snoop Dogg and I love. And instead of me even being inside of the video, like, like, really take me in for a second. Instead of me even being in the video, and this is before all this, instead of me being, being in the video, I 
made a video all about the empowerment of black women. There's nothing but different types of black women in the video, all shapes, sizes, colors. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I personally didn't react to the video and I haven't seen it on my own time, not even reacting to it. I haven't seen it, so I can't go off. I can only go off of what he said. all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. And it's like, yo, I, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, I understand, like, and I support the whole movement of, of protecting black women, but I want to speak on something. And sometimes, you know, I know I'm not always in the right place to speak on things, but this is something that I went through, so I feel like I'm able to speak on it. I am all for protecting black women. That is something that is the most, one of the most right. important things that needs to be taken serious and awareness needs to be brought to. And regardless, if this debacle, regardless of what you guys think happened, if this situation caused you guys to pay more attention and more awareness, from the beginning of time, when we really think about how this works, like from the beginning of time, we've been taught to be with our own heritage and and. White man and white woman, white girl and white man, mm -hmm. um, Spanish man, Spanish woman, Indian man, Indian woman. When you Spani start I, bro, I don't like, like I don't like when people say that, bro. It's Hispanic, bro. It's not Spanish is a language. Hispanic is the ethnicity, bro. Let's get that straight. Put black men down and protect the black women. I'm not saying you guys. I don't mean to make it like, oh, you're attacking. But when we as a whole make it protecting black women means putting black putting down black men, then it comes to a point where it's like, okay, well, who's going to protect black women? Exactly. Who is supposed to be protecting black women? It has to be black men. It's not the white man. It's not the Spanish <laughs> man. It's not the man who, it's, it's not none of those. It's not the Chinese Hispanic. man. It's not none of those men. It, it, it is, who is, who is, it's black men. It's black men. And I'm not saying that black men aren't the people who, in, at, in, in times who, aren't the people who. Yeah, he's speaking facts because it's like, um, Black households, usually, you know, you see black mom, black dad, sometimes it's kind of rare, but he's speaking facts because you usually see that and you don't really see, you see some couples white with black or black with white or da 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 da, -da but you usually see black on black, so it's like, you're supposed, it's like, you usually see a black man, black female, black man is supposed to protect black female, like, that's usually how it goes, but sometimes that doesn't happen, but that's just like summing up basically what he said. I need to go get some water. Y'all listen to things that girls go through. Like, black men are, are, are very much the cause of a lot of things that, 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 that women go through. Because of, at the end of the day, like, the way we were raised, certain standpoints, maybe we didn't have a parent around. Some things, some, some, some things were just not here to, whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, it's like, you got to remember at the standpoint, if, if, if the man is supposed to be, and I say this loosely because I don't want anybody to take this out of context, if the man is supposed to be the, the head, and a woman is supposed to be the neck. Y'all gotta think about this. In order for the head to move, in order for the head to move left, right, whatever it is doing, it needs the guidance of the neck. It needs the guidance of the woman. It, in order for me to smell and use my five senses on my face, for me to we lean or whatever the case is. Nah, but I like what he used. He said the head, the, um, the head can't move without the neck. I like that analogy. Like that he torn down. If anything, before y'all know the story, like, learn the story first. Learn the factual parts of the story first. And then come in. That's straight facts, bro. If y'all, and really this was between Tori and Megan. This wasn't a public issue until she went on live or until they announced the story. It's really not anybody's business but their business. And I feel like they would have probably handled it had they not brought it to social media. But they did, so now we have to deal with it. Well, we don't have to deal with it, but the whole police situation and all that, now they have to deal with the publicity and Tori, uh, has to deal with the bad, making us to deal with the bad, the haters, da, 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 all that stuff. So I feel like before you can talk, you have to know all the facts. That it, that's what you feel like I did. But instead I'm being torn down for a narrative that's like, now I'm the poster boy for I don't like black women. But anyways, let's get into this. I want to get into this because it's very important to me to just say this. I'm not here to bash this woman. I'm not here to come down on this woman. I'm not here to disrespect her or throw her under the bus, but it comes to a certain standpoint where I just can't let my character The original, original uh, a report came out, and it was a TMZ report about this, that, and the third, and there was gunshots in Kylie Jenner's house, and Tory Lanez goes to jail. They gave y'all all the facts of the juice of Tory Lanez going to jail, and 
this down the third, and Megan getting arrested and da 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 Two days after that, I get a call from Rock Nation that says, yo, we heard you're going to make a statement about what happened, and it being your best interest, you sound like you don't that? make that statement. That's why, bro, I don't want to ever sign to a label, bro, because it's like... Yeah, I you can't even. Issue with me telling my fans, like, exactly, no, you can't state the point deal, of like, it's not my fault, it is, and like, they're not letting it's not in your best interest. Team, basically, they're telling you issue. not to make that statement. Two days later, TMZ report come out. TMZ reports, and I have the surveillance now. Now they see the video of the arrest. You see Megan, you see me, and you see it's all sprawled out on the ground in bathing suits and, and blah blah blah. And everything I'm saying is is public record. You can go back and look at this shit. You can go back and. And see it, like you feel me? So they say, oh, okay, you know, um, the, the, you see her out of the car, she's getting out of the car, she's hopping, it looks bad, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I felt bad watching it because it made her look bad, and it didn't make her look good, it didn't make any of us look good. And I didn't want that for her, I don't see that for anybody. So all of a sudden, when we get arrested, or when it looks like we all got arrested, the memes start. Now I wanna really bring you guys in for a second so you can understand something, and I really just want you to take this in, like, she is a person I spent enough time with her to observe and understand something about her, where it's like, she's going through a lot. She goes through a lot and she deals with a lot on a day-to-day -day basis. And because of that, she's not used to, you know, and not even just because of that, but just because of the fact that she's been praised so much, we've always looked at her as like, yo, that's, that's hip-hop sweetheart. Like, she's, she's nice, she's talented, whatever the case is, cool. And because of that, like, we've, we've, We've never seen a moment where the memes have come at her, where the memes are like, yo, nigga, let's laugh at your pain. Ah, ha, 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 ha. She's never had to deal with that because she's always been praised. So everything that's been happening has been a reaction off of what's been going on. So it gets down to this point now where it's like, now the, 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 the reports are starting to say, okay, well, everyone's pointing to different things. No one really knows what's happened, but nobody has ever said she got shot. Exactly, bro. They shot. haven't, like, when they first started saying stuff, Nothing they never stated she got shot. She got shot. Like, and that's the big deal. Why are y'all pushing the idea of other stuff in a different narrative if y'all aren't pushing the idea that she got shot? So say you're pushing around, y'all beating around the bush. Just say she got shot. And if she didn't get shot, then I don't see what the problem is. And everybody's hating on Tory. Not that I'm defending him, not that I'm condoning what he did, but also, you have to, you have to think about it. People are... People have been coming after Tory for a long time, so they've been waiting for him to just slip up like this. But did he actually slip up, bro? Is there actually evidence that she got shot? So you have to look at those type of things. Like, is she actually shot, or is she just making this up to get at Tory, or they, or are the networks and all just making this up to get at Tory? The narrative of me getting cut by glass, just not true. She doesn't point at nobody or anybody or say anything or anything like that she just says the narrative that whatever came out of me being cut by glass is not true i was shot in my feet with the intention to harm me and put uh harm and danger upon me right so okay cool like all of a sudden the affiliates of her circle start pointing like little subliminal fingers like count your days and like i won't be around when he's shooting their feet and like little funny things that they start doing and i'm kind of like damn hold on where are y'all about to take this because Y'all told me not to make a statement, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out where y'all, where y'all taking me. To, I, don't, I don't get it. So then, the uh, at, at this point she goes, she goes live because people are not really understanding the story or whatever case is. She waits. She doesn't go on, you know, a time when it's just a regular time. If y'all who don't understand, it was one of those things where me and her knew what was going on. But everybody she else didn't. Yeah. She went live on my birthday with all her jewelry on. Da 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 da. And then she says, yo, you know, um, and the thing about the whole jury thing is, is like, she, my bad, she knew that. So everybody's looking at this, and again, the internet is a sick place. This is a place where people don't give a fuck about you. They, they do what they do, they antagonize, and they do what they do. Um, you go in and you see you get shot in your foot, no bones of tennis. The internet goes into an uprage because some people are like, hold on. You're not showing not the shot. shot. How you get shot in your foot and they don't hit no phone? Um, yeah, there's like, no, yeah. Whoever is watching this, like, if you need to go on Google and look at a foot anatomy, there's of a lot of bones in your foot. Tenants, yeah. You realize there's like 30 bones in your feet and like 100 tenants, some crazy number like that, right? So 